In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the momentary tactile push button switch right here. And there's the schematic symbol. This is extra. We'll get to that in an upcoming video. But you got a couple of dots there and a bar above it with a dot to indicate pushing down the switch. This can be used as a replacement for a single pull, single throw switch. Of course, the way you use it, you can close the circuit and give uh, enough uh, electricity for a load to light up or whatever else you need to do and then when you want to cut that off you release it so now it's very important you put these into the breadboard the right way because those two pins are always connected as are those two and then those two and those two and it looks like we have some uh, markings here that indicate that but uh, in any case I normally there's a bigger one works exactly the same I normally put the uh, I like these little ones though the pins here so we got one there one there and then one up there one up there I usually straddle this spot that you normally see on these prototype breadboards where there's no dots right there so it makes it a little easier to realize that there's uh, no power supply across there and that is the uh, middle of the switch and uh, so we plug it in there and that's all you have to do to put it in a breadboard these pins are a little bit wider than uh, component leads so I think they stretch out those holes a little bit and so other components may not connect as well in the future so I usually devote the same spot to using for the switches and now we have the original circuitry we got positive there we close the switch it makes a connection there through the resistor and lights the LED we're using a 5 volt power supply here and a 1000 ohm 1 kilo ohm resistor to protect the LED if we accidentally wire it, where we go to the top pin or purposely for whatever reason now we will have a constant connection lighting the LED which is normally what we do not want it's separated top to bottom uh, but not left to right and of course we don't have to go across but I normally work positive left to negative right we can come over here it's important the LED is a type of diode the long lead the anode has to be towards the more positive side the short lead the cathode towards the more negative side or it won't light up but there we can light it up over on the left side as well and so while I display videos I hope you're interested in and the subscribe button I'll just quickly mention that uh, this is the first video of a series where I'm going to cover a uh, simple topic in detail but uh, relatively quickly so this video was the push button switch and the other stuff you see on this diagram is going to be the next two or three videos so hope you watch those thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video